Who invented blockchain? The idea behind blockchain technology was described as early as 1991 by research scientists Stuart Haber and W. Scott Stornetta. The two introduced a computationally practical solution for timestamping digital documents so that they could not be backdated or tampered with. The system used a cryptographically secured chain of blocks to store the timestamped documents. In 1992, Merkle trees were incorporated into the design making it more efficient by allowing several documents to be collected into one block. However, this technology went unused and the patent lapsed in 2004, four years before the inception of Bitcoin. In 2004, computer scientist and cryptographic activist Hal Finney introduced a system called RPOW, or Reusable Proof of Work, to solve the so-called double spending problem. Double spending is a potential problem in a digital cash system where a cryptocurrency or any digital asset can be copied and used more than once, like pirated movies or music. Finney's RPOW system solved this problem by keeping the ownership of tokens registered on a trusted server that was designed to allow users anywhere in the world to verify its correctness and integrity in real time. RPOW can be considered an early prototype and a significant early step in the history of cryptocurrencies. Then, in late 2008, a white paper introduced a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system called Bitcoin. The white paper was posted to a cryptography mailing list by a person or a group using the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. Bitcoin solves the double spending problem with a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer protocol for tracking and verifying transactions. In short, Bitcoins are mined for a reward using the proof-of-work mechanism by individual miners and then verified by the decentralized nodes in the network. On the 3rd of January 2009, Bitcoin came to existence when the first Bitcoin block was mined by Satoshi Nakamoto, who received a reward of 50 Bitcoins. The first recipient of Bitcoin was Hal Finney. He received 10 Bitcoins from Satoshi Nakamoto in the world's first Bitcoin transaction on 12th of January 2009. Then, in 2013, Vitalik Buterin, a programmer and a co-founder of the Bitcoin magazine, stated that Bitcoin needed a scripting language for building decentralized applications. He started the development of a new blockchain-based distributed computing platform called Ethereum that featured a scripting functionality called smart contracts. Smart contracts are programs or scripts that are stored, deployed, and executed on the Ethereum blockchain. They can be used to make a transaction if certain conditions are met, for example. Developers are also able to create and publish applications that run on the Ethereum blockchain. These applications are usually referred to as decentralized applications, or dApps, and there are already many dApps running on the Ethereum blockchain. The Ethereum blockchain builds on the decentralized and distributed architecture of Bitcoin, but by introducing smart contracts, which support an ecosystem of dApps, Ethereum expands beyond Bitcoin's core functionality as a payment platform. Ethereum has also given rise to other innovations, including decentralized finance or DeFi applications. Beyond the Bitcoin and Ethereum blockchains, there have been other innovations, such as alternative consensus mechanisms to the proof-of-work mechanisms used by Bitcoin and Ethereum networks. Today, blockchain technology is gaining a lot of mainstream attention, and its application is no longer limited to cryptocurrencies. Blockchain is used in a wide range of applications and industries, including healthcare, supply chain, gaming, digital identity, governance, and energy. In the next module, we will look into how blockchain works in more detail.